previously on Temtem. Oh, damn. While I was grinding, Blaze is growing up. <laughs> Ooh, Raze. Ooh, Blaze turned into Raze. Actually, didn't realize I was going to rhyme when I named him. Uh, he is a thick dude now. Oh, look at all that speed. I must have been doing something. So our battered friend, he's gonna live to fight another day. Fun guy is a fun girl. Oh, fuck my life. Ooh, Quetzal. What's going on? Who the fuck? We're screwed. We're gonna slide right into fighting someone. People are bad boys here. I don't know what the hell I'm fighting. Yes! Don't worry, don't worry, we'll heal you, buddy. What the fuck? Ooh, that looks strong as shit, dude. <gasps> oh no, dude. Oh shit. After our devastating loss last time, I knew that I needed to do a lot of grinding. Um, in the dojo, we were running into like level 45s. Um, we didn't lose to the level 45s, we lost to the level 38s. But uh, it was just kind of a, a little bit of a message that I took. Uh, you know, I needed to do some grinding. Um, so here I grinded for about three hours. Um, so if you want, skip to about four minutes and 30 seconds. That's kind of when the episode actually starts. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, everybody. So we just did a shitload of grinding. Um, sorry about missing the upload on Friday, uh, but we went ahead and we took uh, Pacha's advice. We threw on Lawali, um, you know, to help out Cheryl. Um, we've got everyone up quite a bit. 
Uh, fun guy's still kind of lacking, still kind of slacking and lacking, but we got up a lot of defense. <laughs> so we'll see how well that fares. Now, I uh, I kind of remember that there was that area that that little drop off spot right before getting into the city, into the city of Quetzal. So we need to go drop off right there and fight some dudes, if possible. Um, who do I have up? Oh, Blaze was was actually doing a hard carry while uh, grinding out here. So that was great. Take out the spun bun, we'll be on our way. What the hell? How are you still alive? No, there's this item here. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> We're struggling. We're struggling against bun buns. We're taking out lots and lots of Lapanites. Die, Bun Bun, please. May I has, please? Oh. Single use DNA strand ensures the egg inherits the parent's HP and stamina. Well, we won't have any use for that. Now, I haven't talked to this guy. Maybe he'll want to fight. Finally, someone who looks like a competent tamer. I'm sick of these boring miners and their boring techniques. <laughs> it's out to ruin Piggy Pick. Damn, is this guy from Denise, like me? Only level 31. Angry Tathru. Huh. Ah, I see. You studied in the Arasolo Dojo. You have all the trademark denizen moves. Oh, okay, so he is from Denise, probably. He's a little familiar with my culture. Poor guy's out here working in the mines, though. Huh, the water looks weird. wonder if it is evidence of exponentially accelerating erosion of the subsurface basaltic layers of Tukma. Or maybe someone in Quetzal just left the tap on. <laughs> Can I go down here? What's with you pacing back and forth? Oh hi, I didn't expect to find anyone here except for the miners, but it's a pleasant surprise. Anyway, back to work. That's it? That's all you had to say? 
Well, I thought there was a little, little more down here in this little area. Alright, so we're going to head back to the dojo. We're going to slide around. Try to figure out... Jesus. Well, I think this is why this game is always crashing around this area, because it's like it loads in all these dudes right here. But it isn't quite the next area. So yes, dojo time. Now, I want to lead with Blaze. I'm going to throw Quackers up there too. And because I'm doing that, maybe I'll throw on high pressure water. Let's see. Now, I, I need to remember this is actually good against crystal types. I keep forgetting that. Um, now, if there's more toxic dudes in there, we got to be careful about that. So, let's see. High pressure water, 82. This is 50? Oh, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll keep him the way he is. I mean, burning for three turns is great and all, but... Look at this Luma Nesla. Wait. Does that belong to anyone? For a second there, I thought it started following me, and I was like, oh, Mine now? Ken has? Alright, we're gonna be sliding around. Let's see, can I scope out the area from here? Nope. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> can I go straight there? No. Okay, let's see if this guy knows where he's going. Lead the way. Okay. Oh, he ended up over there. Oh, check it out. Oh, shit. Oh, whoops. What the hell? Good lord. This is the other side. I mean, I guess you guys are just gonna have to witness lots of, lots of painful sliding. Oh shit, I got the items? I thought the game was trolling. <laughs> that was cool. I I think I surprised that dude because he's like, wow, the dude actually got him. Oh, let's try to bounce off this one to go the other way. Ah. Boop, boop, boop. Doesn't... It doesn't quite ever turn the other way, huh? Hmm. I need to get out of here. Don't tell me. I was gonna say, don't tell me I'm stuck like this forever. Okay. I need to get... How can I even get out of this? How can you even get out of this? I get over here. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh my god. I'm going back around. Jesus Christ. No! I gotta find a way to get up this path that I'm seeing right there. 
like at the top of the screen. Okay, what about that one? Does that one turn? Just sets me back here, okay? Back the way I came. Okay. I'm try to get to where that guy just got to. Oh, what? How did I slide past it? Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Okay, I haven't fought this dude. Finally. That's Latel. A new challenger, and one that dares not show their face. You just disrespect our dojo. I'm a very un honorable man, okay? A scunch in a muddy boy. Alright. Well, we're gonna gang bang in the muddy boy. Both level 45. Oh, I gotta be careful with blaze actually we get a swap um yeah we're gonna swap blaze for Lawali we're gonna hit Madrid with the wateriest blade you ever did see Not very effective. I want to make sure Mudrid goes down. He should go down from this ice stalactite. Alright. Oh shit, that did a good amount of damage. Good job waking up, Lawali. I'll hit a blizzard, and then I'll heal the Wally with Quackers' this turn. Everything's okay. And he's gonna do a super badass move, but that should overexert the hell out of him. Okay, cool. We're good. Hit a wind blade. We can get down to zero with that. All right, we'll get him next turn. No big deal. Just use our faster moves. It's up to you, Lawali. I believe. Good job. Okay. This is unheard of. Thank you. Now put a shirt on. He's talking about how I'm disrespecting the place. He's over here freaking half naked. Let's see. Where are you going to go, buddy? I'm going to wait for you to go. He's waiting for me to go? Oh, shit. Oh, that's what he was going to do. Oh my god, that was awesome. That must be that stranger you already wanted to test. She's too tolerant. If it were up to me, this dojo would be close to foreigners, considering how much grief that Robbie McNeil person has been giving everyone. Hey, you're talking about me. A Psypat? Been a little while. Oh, let's see. Blaze? Okay. I... Hmm. I gotta be careful, because Psypat's actually weak to... Both of them might have a move that Psypat's weak to. My Psypat's weak to. And also... Hmm. Huh. This is a tricky one. Let's see. Lawali, I can send Lawali in, but Lawali will be weak to... I think 
Wally's weak to the toxic moves. Fun guy. This is only toxic. I guess in fun guy to target the side pat. Hmm, I might have to make do with what I have here. Gonna be a tough battle. Okay. I believe, Quackers. You're strong boy. Alright. I'm lucky Sypat didn't hit my blaze. Can hit this. And then we gotta heal it with Quackers. But we should be down the Nidrasil. Come on, man. Oof. Do not like that. Blaze is in a quite the predicament. Mushuk. Okay. I'm tempted to get just get Blaze out of there completely. I need to take out this guy. And then I might need to get we need to get Quackers out of there if that Mushuck has a lot of uh, toxic. Oh, he's hitting him with a slap. I guess it's fine. Meeks. Okay, this is fine. The dude's super creepy. But we'll hit him with the fire tornado. And I believe he's... Crystal, so we're gonna hit the Nicho Sai. I'm gonna go all out on this guy. Ooh, hell yeah. Bet overkill now. Alright, happy about that. I'm nervous about what this guy has to throw at me, but. Okay. Do I have anyone who would fare well against him? Mm, I don't think I do. So let's use a couple of tonics. And then we'll get in there and destroy this guy right now. Huh. Uh, probably won't be very effective. Oh. Well, at least he's cold. Then we'll set him on fire. Give him that icy hot treatment. Ah, poor guy. He done killed himself. Alright. GG's cock talk, okay? <laughs> Perhaps you are made of the right stuff after all. Yep. Okay. Good job, Crackers and Blaze. Handling that shit. For the squad. I feel like I'm on the right track. Oh. So, can't quite tell if this one lines up with that one. Well, this is the only way I can go, really. Ooh, items. I thank you very much. Ooh, telomeric hat. Oh, adds SVs to special defense? Oh, the fertility goes down. Okay, I might actually be able to use this. Oh, special attack? Okay, yeah, I don't need fertility. They might come in handy.
the hell? I need to get... I need to get to that staircase. But I'm gonna slide through. Fuck. Hmm. That thing's always up. Okay. Well, there's three different paths I can slide through right here. I didn't realize that. Lots of lots of hacks. Hmm. I gotta somehow hit these. You. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck. Let's see. That one's only going to ever bounce him back the way he's coming. This way, hit that. Bounce, 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 Only way I can go from here. Can you like turn these ones off? Can't slide out of this. Oh my god, dude. Please. <sighs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> I already fought these guys a long time ago and they killed Emerald. driving me crazy. Are you kidding me? Was it that easy? Oh no. Fuck my ass, dude. I thought I was up to where I needed to be.
So that goes on the right track. Yeah, I feel like I'm on the right track right here. Now I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't done. <laughs> Please. That's all that this can do. Send me back here. Or... That's all this can do. Send me back. This isn't the way. This is where I came from. Holy fuck, now I'm finally somewhere different. Please. Please, please just send me where I need to be. I think I'm there. I'm finally there. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, okay. I guess we're leading with blazing quackers. Gonna fight. We're gonna ask for help by fighting. What is that cool dude? You ready? Oh, you're back, Robbie McNizzle. The nerve to come see me after all the grief you have been causing in my city if it weren't for our sacred hospitality traditions. Uh, this is the first time we meet. Is it now? And who did I speak to a few days ago then? Who has sabotaged the Smith's Guild? Who closed the entrance to the mines? Who caused the landslides? My fellow Quetzalians are sick and tired of your shenanigans, Robbie McNizzle. You should leave. Um, someone has been impersonating me. I am the real Robbie McNizzle. I am innocent. Do you realize how crazy your story sounds, Robbie McNizzle? Why should I believe you when half of the town is out to get you? I should turn you into the guards and be done with this whole brocha. But you sound sincere, so I shall give you one last chance. And Tim Tim Veritas, show me your true colors. Irini. All right, I'm Meeks, and uh, I haven't gone against a Volarand. Uh, I assume it's uh, it's Crystal type, right? Wait, have I gone against one? I think uh, one of the guys I'm watching, Coffee and Card Game, says. One of those, or the junior version of it. So I'm gonna go after Mix. Yeah, let's let's just double team Mix. Oh, okay, good job. We should be able to take him. Oh fuck it! God damn it! Okay. Oh, what is that? What is this? What the hell? You son of a bitch. I think he redirected my attack? Bastard. What the hell? He's... Oh, fuck. Ow. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Fuck him, right? Fuck him, right?
Please, please be enough. What the fuck is happening? Oh shit. I... I thought that he rejected the attack to myself. I need to get Quackers out of there if this guy's gonna be up on the field the whole freaking match. Oh god. Oh. What a majestic creature. Okay. Let's use Tonic and Blaze. Okay. Toxic dude. And a psychotic. I think Chris. Stole and mental dude. So switch crackers. Sick and mental. I think it's a I think this is a job for Cheryl. Hope this isn't a mistake. Just keep throwing things at him and maybe one day we'll hit him. I guess not. I guess we'll never hit him. Okay, unless he keeps overexerting himself. I may need to take a turn and use some tonics. Be healthy. We'll let this mix kill himself. Hopefully. Let's hit that. Give Blaze some, some bomb. Oh, should be, should be it for Noxolotl. Okay. Okay, great. Clinch. That's what I do to my butt. Just kidding. It's inappropriate. Okay, Mudred. This is the instance where these guys are both in danger. So... I need to get in Luwali. I need to switch in... I guess DeAndre. I believe... Job. Mix is still getting rest. I don't like that. Now I have allergic spread. I may be able to take him out, right? Because you can't, you can't just, you can't fuck with the allergic spread. Mix. Ha! <laughs> yes. Good job, DeAndre. Crunchy 2.0. Zuma. Oh shit. Good Zuma. Alright. I'm gonna switch it in for Cheryl. Gonna make sure. We should be able to take out this Madrid. No problem. Sweet. Love to see you do it, DeAndre. Schween. Oh, fuck. 
I'm gonna spike him. And I'll hit this. I don't know what the Schween is. Oh, water. Okay. We need healing on Gerald. Okay, we're fine. Oh, come on. You gotta... You gotta kill him. Gerald. Oof. Dude is hurting. I'll hit a sharp leaf on him. Oof. I like how that move, like, it chunks damage and it's like, Shh. I think all we got is this Kazuma left. <laughs> and he killed himself. Oof. A great fight and an honorable one. This is not how you fought last time. Yeah, I'm a good boy. Everyone thought I was a bad boy the last 10 episodes. Anyone can dress up in another's clothes, imitate another's accent, throw around another's name. But at 10 time fighting, we all reveal our true selves. We're all bad people because we're making these cute creatures hurt each other. <laughs> That's our true self. And you are certainly not the angry youth that fought the other day. Uh, finally! Someone who listens! I apologize, Robbie McNizzle, for not believing you at first, as we all have. Oh, please help me. My friends are suffering. That I shall, for enough innocents have suffered already. And now, now I must right this wrong. Come with me, worthy tamer. We shall set things straight with authority. With authorities. Yeah. Oh. Greetings, Captain Coley. I must have a word with you, and it is vital that you listen to me. For our beloved dojo master. Anything and everything. But who skulks behind your back in the dodgy garb of a bandit? Mm -hmm. A just tamer. Unjustly accused of another one's crimes. Oh. Take off your hood, Robbie McNizzle. Captain, this tamer. Dojo Master, this is a dangerous runaway that- mm -hmm. Escaped from prison, I know. Did I not say it was vital you listened? Or has the soot from the forges clogged your ears? Brrr. Very well, speak then. This is not the tamer you are looking for. Captain, the one who has been wrecking havoc all around our city. In fact, I believe that rogue tamer has been purposefully besmirching Robbie McNizzle. Gonna have to look that word up. Robbie McNizzle's good name. Is that so? But what for? It is not for me to say or know, but I suspect it has something to do with some dark design of theirs. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the motive, the fog has lifted. Robbie McNizzle is now a cherished guest of my dojo. Not to be harassed by you or your guards. Oh. Are we clear, my cap'n? We are clear indeed, Dojo Master. Robbie McNizzle, I apologize on behalf of myself and my guards. I did what I did, mistakenly, but with no ill will, for I am sworn to protect my people. Go in peace. You are welcome to in our city. My airship crashed near the Badlands, like a hundred people died. We need help. We need medical care for the wounded and tools to repair the ship. They've been laying out there for the last three weeks. I'm just a peacekeeper, friend. You want to speak to the Guildmaster of the Smiths about tools and materials? There's nothing they cannot forge. And you should not find it difficult to buy medical supplies for your people. Try the Temporium. They must have whatever you need. My job here is done. I shall go back to the dojo, Robbie McNizzle. Do come visit whenever you want. Evil. Bitches never listen to me. Finally listen to me. Just a word, Robbie McDizzle. Your friend, that one-eyed Arborian. He's still in prison. Whenever you're done helping your crew, come see me and we'll see what we can do about your friend. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Buy some medical medicine from the Temporium. Let's go pick up the medicine. Let's go heal our dudes first and then pick up the medicines. Needs the healing. I like that hood. I might just put it back on though. Even though I look like a criminal. Jesus. Alright. I need medicines! You mean for your Temtem? For humans. An airship crashed on the surface. Buy the seed stone. Okay, okay. I think I have a few things here. Yes. I have bandages, medicine. Here, have the whole lot. Oh, thanks, dude. I got a first aid kit. Full medical package should be enough for the wounded of the narwhal. I'm not charging you for those. By the way, it sounds like a real emergency. Alright. 
All right, thank you so much for enduring the painful me sliding around this freaking dojo. Thank you so much for enduring it. Now, that's gonna be it for now. I know it was pain, complete, completely painful this episode. Um, you know, on top of me grinding for like four, three and a half hours, and you watching like three minutes of fast forwarded content. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all are into that. I don't know, but it's what I do. So it's part of part of who I am. Uh, we are going to bring the medicine uh, tomorrow or whenever the next episode is. If I could figure out how. I don't even know how to get there, but we'll figure it out. And Well, before we go, we should probably talk to Matthew in prison, see if we can actually free him first before, you know, the dude's chilling in prison. So he deserves to be free because he's a good boy too. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.